Today I want to show you something distinctly southern, and it's this little pepper plant right here. This is the chili patine, also known as the chili piquin, the turkey pepper, the bird pepper, and it goes by about a half dozen other common names. These things grow everywhere down here in the south. A little bit of shade, lots of heat. Mexico, South Texas, they grow really well. Now, especially places that never freeze, they're going to grow year-round. So these little bitty leaflets, all right, they're going to persist all through the fall and winter. Now, the little peppers right here come in two different colors. The green ones are the young, and uh, they're ready to eat, but they're the hottest ones. You give them a couple weeks, and you get this really bright red. And uh, it tones down the heat just a little bit, but it will still burn your face off. So these things are rated at 8 to 40 times hotter than a jalapeno. So it's something you don't really want to... Uh, mess with unless you know what's going on. Now the amount of capsaicin in here is absolutely amazing. So if you're picking these or they're coming into contact, you're probably going to start getting burns. Uh, so it'll get red, itchy, a little bit of baby oil, anything with oil will help. Uh, eating these things raw, I would not advise it, okay, unless you're trying to win a dare. Uh, milk probably going to be your best friend if you do end up doing that. Uh, if you have little ones of note, make sure that they know what they are and not to mess with them. Unfortunately, I have a niece that looks sideways at uh, the green and red M&Ms nowadays, unfortunately. So, lesson learned the hard way there. But we love to have these things around, and they're incredibly important. So, for those of you that like the peppers and like the spice, this is one to know. If you're looking at uh, survival situations, now this is 70% carbohydrates. I would, not, I would not, not have you eating this as a meal or trying to eat enough of these to uh, make up for a day calorie wise uh, by the time you ate enough of them to get what you needed uh, you probably want to kill yourself your mouth would be on fire your your tongue would be destroyed and I can't imagine what you'd be going through about 24 hours later so that's not really what this is all about uh, what I use these for is spices and uh, what I'm trying to say there is that in survival and this is a topic and and thing that's not been discussed very much that uh, you need to change up your flavor palette, especially in long-term survival situations. I find over and over again at about six, seven, eight weeks being out in the field that I stopped eating as much and I had to start taking crazy spices, uh, hot, uh, sweet, sour, anything I could, just outlandish stuff to try and change up my palate because even if it's just a few, few spoonfuls less every single meal, you're going to kind of just... Uh, lose the desire to eat. You just don't eat as much after a while. And all the survival things, everybody's saying you get the food, you eat the food. It's all about food acquisition. And I'm telling you right now, in the end, uh, later and longer down the line, it comes down to flavor. And this becomes a real survival issue. So peppers, spices, herbs, anything that's going to change it up, I implore you to try and find out what's going on out there in the wilds and see what you need to do about this thing. Uh, one of the last notes I want to have and show you about this is the amount of capsaicin is actually a deterrent to your mammal friends. So your rodents, your rats, uh, a lot of your undesirables, your furry four-legged things, these things growing around or if you dehydrate it and crumble up the peppers all over the place will actually deter a lot of those. Uh, it does nothing for the reptiles, does nothing for the amphibians, but for me, anything that keeps the mice away is a positive. So your food stashes, any of your camps, we put them around the housing around here, work out really well and uh, definitely a handy one to have. Alright, well I'm here and the peppers are here, so I'm going to go ahead and do something arguably foolish. I am going to eat uh, one of these red chilies and while doing so, I'm going to attempt to go ahead and tell you a story about a game that I play with these on the trail. Uh, only with the best of friends, and we'll see how far we get. So, here it goes. Alright, so the game is called Hide the Chili Patine. And the only person that knows that they're playing is the cook, which would be me. And so right as the food is done, you slip just one into the meal, and then you serve it out. Nobody's supposed to know they're playing. But somebody will find out that they've won within a couple minutes. So have some milk, like I do not, and probably some running shoes. But it's one heck of a game, guys. The sinuses are clear. I'd rather have gotten stung by a scorpion. 
But that is the chili patine. Like and subscribe. And as always, till next time.